Hello friends, long time no video. If you are thinking that this field and this weather does not look like an Indonesian field or Indonesian weather, you are absolutely correct. I am yet again back in England, except this time I have brought, where is she? There. I have brought my crazy Indonesian dog with me all the way to England. Gaia, Gaia, here she comes. <laughs> so, because I've brought her, that means that I am here pretty much for good, for the foreseeable future. I don't know if it will be forever. Nothing lasts forever, does it? Does it? Evidently, a few months ago I was saying that I would live in Indonesia forever. I'm in that house for another year, blah, blah, blah. Yet here I am in the glorious fields of England. This video is going to be maybe a one take vlog. Maybe I'll edit it, throw in some fancy B-roll, who knows, but it's just going to be a bit of an update about my life, where I've been for the last three months. Not that anybody asked for it, but I thought, you know, I don't want to just jump back on YouTube like, oh, here's a tutorial about Lighton, and just pretend like nothing happened when it, it did. A lot, a lot has happened, actually. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm in England. I came to England about two months ago on June the 11th, I think it was. Um, the month before that was absolutely hectic. To bring a dog to England from Indonesia is not an easy thing. So I was, you know, there was a lot of last minute hiccups of that and um, I had to sell everything that I've owned for the last seven years in Indonesia um, and yeah, like say goodbye to people and yeah, it was, <laughs> it was mental. Um, if you saw my Instagram stories, I don't know, um, like five people watch them. <laughs> you might have seen a bit of that and already a bit of an explanation about why I've come to England. So the reason why I've come to England is a few different reasons. Um, one, as you know, since I've started this channel, I've been saying how I don't really like teaching. It's not my passion. I want to work in the video, film, TV industry, etc. Become the second, well, become now the third female to win an Oscar for Best Director because Chloe Shao is now the second woman to win Best Director Oscar. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Anyways, if I stayed in Indonesia forevermore, there's so many flies, what the heck? If I stayed in Indonesia forevermore, I literally could only teach there because of complications with visas and bureaucracy and all that palaver. So I've come to England, the land of opportunities, the land of, well, because I'm British, I can just do any job here. I can freelance, I can do whatever, you know, whatever job, <laughs> whatever job comes my way, which is what I am currently doing. At the moment, I am doing something that couldn't be further from the TV, film, video production industry. I am currently working in a gin factory. Um, I put labels on bottles, lids on bottles, bottles in boxes, smash a few bottles now and again just to keep people on their feet, you know. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, honestly, it's not the worst job in the world. The people who work there are okay. <laughs> uh, they won't be watching this, I don't think. But yeah, it is paying the bills. And by the bills, I mean it is paying the money that I borrowed to bring her here. Because that was not cheap. It was not cheap. It was not easy. So I'm working there to pay back that money. And also I'm working there to save up some money so that I can learn to drive and eventually buy a cheap secondhand car so that it will be easier for me to get a job in the TV industry or in the film industry. Because as you can see, I live in the bum, fuck, am I allowed to say that? In the bum fuck middle of nowhere. Like, it's literally, it's called the Midlands because it's the middle of England. So if you have a car, it's good to get pretty much everywhere. But um, without a car, there's not a booming TV industry going on around here. 
also a lot of the jobs in the TV and production industry, like the entry level jobs are production assistant runner, which means like you literally run around, aka drive around, picking up whatever, food, coffee, cameras, you know, stuff people occasionally but there's all like complications with insurance for that who knows um so yeah being able to drive being able to get to location being able to actually do the job that's required would be very very useful however of course nothing is easy i can't just <laughs> go and get some driving lessons can i of course not because a few weeks ago i realized that my vision um, as you know, my crazy eye is always crazy. That's no problem. That's no different. But my good eye, the vision in my good eye is currently blurry. I have a big blurry patch in my central vision. Long story short, turns out it's something called an epiretinal membrane. And thankfully, I live in the UK with the glorious NHS and I can get surgery to fix it completely for free so I'm really glad that it's just happened now rather than when I was in Indonesia no offense Indonesia healthcare system but it's not the best um the only thing is because it's free and it's you know public healthcare whatever we call it um I have to wait a few months so I can't drive until then because my vision is so low at the moment that it's like it's legally not the standard that it needs to be to to drive where's my dog gone Gaia if I walk this way a little bit she'll come back hopefully um so yeah that's my life update I'm working in a gin factory in the hopes to make money to buy a car so that I can go somewhere and get a job in the tv and film industry maybe buy that Canon M50 that I've been banging on about for the last year and hopefully um oh here she comes hopefully uh can do some freelance video projects oh my golly gosh Gaia that was fast <laughs> so let's cut <laughs> 